We will start with opening statements. Dave, you may go first. Okay, I'm Dave Powell. Been, been in Ray County since uh, 1969. Uh, I grew up in uh, New Jersey, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, and uh, lived here in uh, Ray County since I got out of the military in 1968. So um, we've continued to um, I continued to uh, run for Ray County or Richmond City Council for 14 years, and after I retired from the city council, I went ahead and ran for Ray County Commissioner, which uh, I, I've been on the Ray County Commissioner Commission for four years, and I'm running, running again to, um, to get that position back. Um, I've got, uh, biggest concerns are the road, road and bridge and um, Ray County Jail and um, some additional um, some additional issues that uh, I'm concerned about are the Are the as I said, road and bridge in taking care of our uh, buildings and grounds, including the uh, Eagleton Center, the museum. Thank you, Dave. Max, you may start when you're ready. I'm Max Hockemeyer. Uh, in 1950, my mom and dad moved here and started farming south of Henrietta. I was born in 1951 and lived here pretty much my entire life, except for when I went to college. Uh, my family has been farmers all their time. My father was a farmer and his father was a farmer. Um, <coughs> right now, I am currently the president of the Ray Lafayette Levy District. I serve on the board of the Ferris Theater. Uh, as a board member of the Friends of the Ferris. I'm also a commissioner on the Willow Creek Watershed and uh, Richmond Beautification. I'm the president of Richmond Beautification. Those are the people that plant the flowers and put the flower beds on Spartan Drive. Um, that project's been in existence for over 30 years, all by donation. So if you'd like to make a donation, just send it to Richmond Beautification. Thank you. Uh, prior to that, I was a Henrietta Special Road District president uh, and also I uh, served our schools uh, with parents assisting Richmond education. Uh, during that time, they raised the teacher's salaries about $5,000 a piece across the board and they ended up building the Sunshine School out of, out of that effort. Uh, I have represented three different public entities with FEMA, uh, the Henrietta Special Road District, the Ray Lafayette Levy District, and the Willow Creek Watershed. And we've done that multiple times, probably at least eight times I've represented those entities with FEMA. Thank you. First question, how do you envision balancing the need for new commerce in Ray County while maintaining the small town feel that some residents have come to expect? And Max, you may start. Balancing commerce in Ray County isn't really the job of the uh, commissioners. Uh, yes, they have input, they have something to say about it, but it's not really our job as commissioners to bring commerce into Ray County. Um, our job is to make Ray County a good place to live for the people who live here. As far as bringing um, business to uh, Ray County, I think we need to offer incentives to. Will you hold it a little closer? Offer incentives to small business to 
have them come to town and we, we have tried that with a couple different businesses. There's a couple, couple additional businesses that, uh, that are interested in, in uh, opening um, opening um, facilities in, in uh, Ray County that would employ additional people. And uh, I would like to see us offer incentives for those companies to uh, to um, open up some uh, additional properties that um, that will allow us to to offer some opportunities to bring these people to uh, to our county so that we can get some additional tax revenue coming in to help. It appears that the county's roads and bridges are not receiving adequate maintenance. What steps will you take to resolve this issue? And Dave, you may start. The road and bridge um, issue is, deter is determined by the amount of money that road and bridge gets from their, their tax. And they are utilizing the maximum amount that, that uh, we have available to them. And they have... Um, They're, they've got very little manpower that they can utilize to run the graders and that type of uh, that type of uh, operations here in the county. So they do the best they can with what they have, and. We just have to try to find them some more resources so that they can they can juggle the amount of uh, work that's uh, that's out there for them. Max, you may start when you're ready. Uh, road and bridge is one of the main jobs of the commissioner of Ray County. Um, bridges will always take grants and grants are plentiful and can be gotten if provided the paperwork is done correctly. Um, but there's always people in federal government, state government willing to help you work through the grant process and help you find the right grants to do these jobs. It won't be quick. We have well over 100 bridges in our county and many of them are substandard and need to be repaired or replaced. Uh, as far as the roads themselves, we're a, we're a three-man board on the commission, uh, if elected, and so we have to work together. And then we have a foreman in charge of the men working on the roads. Uh, we need to come together and to go forward. Uh, right now, I've, I've been driving the roads the last three weeks, and I can tell you, I can tell you I didn't buy enough signs. That's, that's what I can tell you. There's a lot of signs out in the county. But right now, the roads look good. And they will look good until winter comes around, and we all know what happens in winter. There's freezing and thawing, and it turns to slush and mush. And there's really not a good way to fix that other than be on top of it, be proactive, blade the roads, give them some crown in the roads. I did see some spots that were kind of flat, that pooled water, get some, you know, you can bring those up, and they're always at the bottom of the hill where the creek runs. So those are the types of things we would have to pay attention to, just proactively go after it. Last question. What is your strategy for improving public transportation and connectivity in our area? Max, you may start when you're ready. As of the moment, I don't have a plan for uh, improving public transportation and connectivity. Uh, did you say transportation? transportation and connectivity in our county. I see we've got some fiber going in. That's a nice thing. Uh, people will be able to connect to that. 
but that's one of the things I would have to look at when I when and if I get elected. Thank you. Dave, you may start when you're ready. Yeah, we just need to tie into the uh, Ray County Transportation and uh, bus service that um, provide us with uh, the ability to to utilize the, um, the services that they provide so that we can have people, especially the out elderly, with uh, the ability to, um, to uh, get around the county and the, uh, and the uh, up to the city and, and wherever they, they can, can take us. But uh, as far as the, uh, as far as the uh, fiber, they've been working on that for a couple of years and uh, I think we're get, getting close but they, uh, they've been um, having some issues with the, uh, with the uh, fiber tearing up the, uh, tearing up the roads. So it's, it's um, one of those things that we're just gonna have to uh, stay on top of the fiber companies and, and uh, get us to, um, get us to provide the services that, uh, that we need. We'll go into closing statements. You'll have two minutes and Dave, you may start and remember to keep that microphone close to you. Okay. Yeah, I wanna thank you all for coming out and uh, I want to, I appreciate the, uh, I would appreciate your votes. I appreciate the, uh, Opportunity to uh, opportunity for you all to uh, to uh, provide us with with your support and um, I would uh, I would thank you for. Uh, for attending the, uh, the meeting tonight. Thank you. Thank you for coming tonight. My name is Max Hockemeyer. I'm candidate for Eastern Commissioner of Ray County. I would appreciate your vote. Thank you.